Hi, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Aero Pro 6E to your full fiber service over the OpenReach network. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the Aero Pro 6E box and see exactly what we get. So to start with, we've got a quick start guide and a warranty leaflet. Pop them to one side. And then we have the Aero itself. We have the power cord, our power lead, which is a USB-C end. And then we also have an Ethernet cable. And that is it. So we'll put the package in on the floor. So the first thing you want to do before anything else is download the Aero app. And you'll find that in your App Store, whether that's Apple App Store or Google App Store, and you'll find it with an icon that looks like this. So now you've opened up the Aero app, you'll be greeted with the following screen. And what you want to do is select Start Setup. And here is a brief checklist to make sure you have everything in place before we can begin the setup. So the Aero Gateway or Gateway Aero, that is your router, your power lead, Ethernet lead, and then your Fiber ONT. Now make sure that you're in the vicinity of your fiber ONT when we start this process as we will need to connect to it in the next step. So these next three screens talk about how to unplug any existing hardware and plug your Aero into the power, which we did at the start of this video. And then they also talk about how to connect your Aero up to the ONT. Rather than talk you through these, we'll jump back to the studio where I'll walk you through how to do that. Take your power lead, and then take the USB-C side and plug this into the port on the back of the Aero, like so, and you should hear a little click. And then you want to plug this into the mains. Now, what you're gonna to want to do is look for a little white pulsing light on top of the router. You'll find this central just below the Aero logo. As this pulses, what it's actually doing is the Aero is booting up and getting ready for setup. It's also activating its Bluetooth so that you can pair your phone and the mobile app to the device so that you can begin the setup all through the mobile app. No more having to connect via computer or wires or anything like that. It's a really easy step-by-step -step process that I'll walk through with you in just a moment. We're just waiting for that white light to turn blue, which it now has. The little white light on the end is pulsing blue. If your full fiber service is with open reach, you'll have an ONT that either looks like this or one of these. What we now need to do, because we've unplugged our old router or maybe you never had a router plugged into it in the first place, is connect up our Aero device to this ONT. It's a very simple thing to do. What you want to do is take the ethernet lead or the RJ45 that came with the Aero, and we want to plug it into the yellow port on the bottom of the ONT. You then want to turn the Aero around, and on the back you have two ports. You want to plug the ONT into the port that says 2.5. It's very important that's the port that you plug it into. Once you've done this, you can go back to the app and continue following the steps. Now that you've done that, you'll want to return to the mobile app and click on the blue arrow button. And what's now happening is the Aero is looking for a gateway. So it's trying to connect to the internet via your ONT. Once your app detects the model of router you're using, you'll be presented with a screen that looks like this. Now that everything's connected up, your Aero will try and set itself up. Now, if your Aero has been unable to set itself up, you may be presented with this screen. And this is nothing to worry about. Just double check that everything is connected up as we've outlined in this video. So your ethernet lead is connected correctly between the Aero device and your ONT, and that your ONT and Aero are both powered on. If that is the case, you simply want to click Internet Settings, which will bring you to this screen. Now what you want to do is click on the WAN type, and then you want to go down to PPPOE. You'll now want to select PPPOE, and this box will open for you to enter in your Zen Broadband username and password. Your username is your Zen, some numbers at Zen. So for example, Zen12345 at Zen, all lowercase. 
And then your password will be the password that you were given when you first started your service. If you're unsure of where to find these details, you can find them from logging into your customer portal. Once you've entered these details, simply click save, which will bring you back to here and then click try wired connection. And your era will now try and connect to the internet using the settings that you've provided. If you are presented with the following screen, this means that your Eero has now been identified and has set up correctly. All you need to do is identify where in the house your router is or your Eero is. If none of these apply to where your Eero is currently positioned, you can set a custom location by clicking customized and then enter the location. So for example, server room and then click next. And here you can now input your Wi-Fi name. So whatever you want your Wi-Fi name to be and your Wi-Fi password, simply enter it in like so. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi name and password, make a note so you won't forget and then create network. And there you go, your era is now up and running and you're able to connect to it via Wi-Fi or wired connection and have access to your full fiber broadband. You'll then be brought to the following screen where you can set up additional Eros if you so choose to for a mesh style setup. However, we're not going to do that in this video. So all you need to do is select finish setup. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.